Hi, I'm Magnus. Hi, I'm Liam. And welcome to a new season of Two Nerds Talking. Today we're covering Carrie by Stephen King because, you know, it's fall. it's fall. We're wearing our sweaters. It's spooky season. Exactly. Yeah. That's why we chose the book, definitely. Definitely. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, what should we talk about first? Um, I don't know. What did you like about it? Uh, the book I really loved just... It amazed me how that that was like Stephen King's like first um, published work, and it's it's so good. And it it's is the, really and you can, good. It's I don't know, and you can see so much of the things that he likes to do um, in future books in that one, and I like that. Yeah, I really like this like how effective it is of like this view of how cruel teenagers are, especially teenage girls. They're like ravenous animals. Yeah, <laughs> like tear people apart, and like you aren't really sure if it's just the nature of like them being teenagers or if it's like Carrie like self-sabotaging herself accidentally with her mind powers and yeah. like creating this environment where everyone hates her and it's like her like crazy mind powers yeah yeah and I love how it's treated like kind of like a true crime but like not really yeah yeah and it's written like way more energetically than I would think like it's written almost like a Chuck Palahniuk novel mm-hmm. but it's like Stephen King like yeah yeah what did you think of the mom character because she's really interesting and like not normally what you'd expect a kind of evangelical yeah like maniac to be like she's a little different she was very interesting and like just like the way that she is very much insane and abusive of her daughter is very reflective especially at the time that this book came out of like this attitude within like very like hyper religious people and women of like just shame and so much shame that it's like driven her completely insane to the point of her like destroying her child's life it's almost like a warning of like like hey you guys maybe chill out a little bit and yeah. like it's okay to accept things even like you can be like christian and religious and still like respect other people for their beliefs and also find respect for yourself but yeah i thought her character was very much like a cautionary tale almost yeah. And a very important driving force for Carrie going totally crazy insane. Which, not really that crazy insane. True. Good for her. Kind you know of what? Moment. Kind of a girl boss moment. <laughs> kind of kind of, not gonna lie, kind of a girl boss moment. Kind of deserved. Like, <laughs> mm, but like, yeah. I love how, like, um, getting into the movie a little bit, and we, uh, we watched the, the, seven, the 1975 one by directed Brian Directed by, yeah, Brian De Palma, by Brian who De Palma. also directed um, Phantom of the Paradise, which is yes. very good. You should watch it. I thought there was a lot of interesting changes just tonally and with kind of the character's attitudes towards Carrie, especially yeah. with the PE teacher, um, I always forget her name, and uh, Carrie's mom. Yeah. Um, like those specifically. And just tonally the movie, I feel like it's a lot more melodramatic. It feels way more like, like a made-for-TV thriller yeah. than the book feels like this terrifying true crime story. Yes. and the. The book feels like very, like a lot of it feels very mean, just in the way like people. Yeah, it's like very it's, like cynical yeah. and a little evil, which I think helps with the kind of vibes and like the evil teenage yeah. girls. Okay, can we talk about John Travolta's casting? Oh my God, why did they do that? Okay, hot take. So I bad. hate John Travolta. Hot take. He's the worst, and he's not a good actor. Why is he famous? <laughs> why? why? I don't Why hate is John he famous? As much oh, oh, sure. As he does. He's but. like, his character in the book that he's playing is like so evil and like actually like a really well written character. And in the movie, he's just like, well, I'm doing drunk driving. Whoa, oh, John Travolta. His, his character is so, he's like the scariest part of the book for me oh just because of how yeah. like violent and obviously. Just so so yeah, he's this great, he is. yeah, example of like just human evil. But it's still a great movie, definitely. It is it's a still great movie. No, an awesome yeah, awesome movie. No, I feel like it, like it has differences from the book, but it is like a, it's an awesome movie. It's oh, yeah. really great. It's the so build fun. up is amazing, and yeah. I think they changed the build up a little because in the movie it's much like you feel like Carrie is a lot more helpless or whatever yeah. until she gets um, back and kills her mom. But in the book, like I feel like it's almost on like page thirty or something yeah. where you're already like, oh. The mom's horrified. Yeah. And all, yeah, in the book, you get more of an insight into Carrie's mind and this buildup of hatred yes. and just disgust with those around her and how she starts to feel 
how she was wronged by God, so she is God now. Yeah. She is becoming God, and especially with that ending, it's very biblical, yeah. the way that she destroys all of these people, and she is God, like she's officially become God in her eyes. Like, to it feels more like she's, you know, become God in the book than it yeah. does in the movie. Yeah, it definitely has Certainly. way more, like, kind of biblical connections yeah, uh, sure. and themes within the book. Okay. But well, yeah. Yeah. I think our talk is complete, and you guys should definitely complete. read Carrie or watch the movie or do both. We recommend both. It's coming but up on October and Halloween. It's, and it's spooky time. It's, it's a, a pretty great perfect book. book and movie to like and movie, get yes. in the spirit of like being all spooky. 100%. And a definitely. great Halloween yeah. costume. Oh my honestly. god. Yes. Yeah. Very in the blood, if you don't mind getting messy. But yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs>